Hey, honey. You gonna start the vlog? Is there a point of starting them if I never end them? What you doing? And some bacon rolls. That's me. This is how we store our bacon. Stella likes to store them like flowers. Her bacon flowers all wrapped up. Taking a break from our uh, Olympic viewing. We're watching some good mythical morning. What's the point of rolling them up instead of just storing them all in the in the vacuum bag? You tell them. me, I've done this for years, Nancy. Is and it really I better? The only person that does this. Really? We are the only people that buy bulk bacon. This isn't from like a, a food blog or something that someone said somewhere on the Food Network. I've seen it. You've never seen this? Is this an original idea? I don't know. I've just never seen it. It might not be an original idea. The only thing I've seen is when they make bacon roses for Valentine's Day. They drill a hole in a muffin pan and then they roll these, the bacon in there and they cook it. Oh. Uh, okay. Bacon roses. Oh, so this is like a secret technique that do we do we do we want to share this with YouTube? Are they gonna steal this? Is someone gonna is someone gonna, from Food Network gonna take it and put it in their in their book? It's already on my blog. Oh, it's already on your blog. Oh, damn! Thought we had something original going on. From my blog. Yeah, this bacon roll technique. Do you even like you even tell them what the the benefit was? Well, I know when you freeze bacon just like this, it's terrible to, well, it's to try to open it up. Like this. It's usually like this. Yeah, that's even harder to just try to take one one uh, one piece off. So what you usually do is you have to take out the whole packet and then you gotta... So before the recording ended, so I was saying, usually you gotta take the whole packet out and then defrost it. And after it's defrosted, you can you can take them out and you gotta you eat the whole packet within like the, the week or so. Do you have a problem? Because the whole packet is usually full. Yeah, it's not a big problem, but with this with this method, Stella, it allows Stella to just take out one piece of bacon at a time, so the rest can stay frozen. Or two at a time. It, it, you can take one at a time, right? But then the problem with this is like you make it more susceptible to freezer burn because you've uh, you've left it open. I don't really have freezer burn because I put another plastic on them. Oh, okay. We were thinking about taking a walk, so I asked Siri what the temperature is, and since Siri got all cute with me, I asked, hey Siri, temperature. It says, it doesn't matter what the temperature, what temperature the room is, it's always room temperature. Just kidding, it's 66 degrees outside. <laughs> that funny? Apple with some humor. Stupid Siri. Trying to, trying to give me a joke. Gives me wrong information half the time I asked for it. Well, we haven't vlogged much today, honey. Why is that my fault? I'm always the one, oops, picking up the camera and pointing it at you. Why do you always walk away? Because when you go wash dishes, you just sit there. Come back. No. Cooking our midnight snack. Steak. Yep. This is hanger steak. Mr.'s favorite steak. Yeah, it's my favorite cut of steak now. I really like ribeye. I still like ribeye, but hanger steak's nice and flavorful and it's a lot more tender than ribeye. That's more flavorful. 
And it's also cheaper. What sucks about like the hanger stick is that it's only so big, but there are only two pieces of it. So this is like one piece. It's a little, this is a little this yeah, is it's half thin, right? Well, this is half of a piece because hanger stick comes in like two two halves, and it's it's uh, held together with like silver lining in the middle that you have to take out. And like at most, it's only gonna weigh like one and a half pounds after you take out and clean out all the silver lining and all the other pieces. So it's not a huge cut, and it's only gonna always come in this strip. It's not gonna come in like a big, steaky kind of form. Ah, we didn't film uh, Chinese New Year's today. Today was Chinese New Year's. Year of the dog, I've been told. Can you name all 12? Oh yeah. Of course. I'm ready. Nailed it. English? Um, no, I cannot. I can't, I didn't memorize it in English. I wouldn't be able to recite it back in English. I knew he was saying order. Fix yourself. It'd be too hard to do. I mean, I'd probably, I'd be able to do it. It's, uh, rat, cow, Huh? Rabbit. Dragon. You missed one. It is too hard. <laughs> you finished cooking? Yeah, I think so. It looks so tiny. Yeah, well, it is pretty small. But I mean, it's so dark over there. It makes it look, it makes it look lame with the, with the and then on the plate, it's not enough contrast. Yeah, slice it open. Gotta let it rest first. Cause you know, meat. How's it coming out? Looks pretty good to me. Stella's uh, trying to damage our knife. Pull it off. I don't like it when Stella cuts. Uh, you cut, cut it, you're raw. I don't want to cut it. Well, because you're not supposed to cut onto plates and stuff. It dulls, it dulls like the knife. It still doesn't sharpen the knife. I have to sharpen the knife. Do you hear me cutting on it? There, there. Like there. That's, a, that's a little scratchy sound you hear, honey. That's all you heard this whole seven pieces I've cut. No, you do it all the time. Wow. Whoa. I heard it. Oh, Stella's finally finished cutting them up. I'm gonna eat them. What are you gonna make, honey? Got some miso. You got some uh, tofu. tofu. Uh, I didn't know that was called in English. That's weird. There are some things that I just I just don't know what they're called in English. Or when I have to say English things that are like Chinese that I just learned in Chinese, it just says it just it's just weird. Like Sichuan. I couldn't say Sichuan for the longest time. Cause like, I don't know. Should I, and should I, should I even, is that my fault? Should I try to say the words the way Americans say it? Cause like we say jalapeno like jalapeno. I don't say jalapeno, but jalapeno. I did say quesadilla once. But that wasn't my fault. I mean it was, but I didn't say quesadilla. So I like Taco Bell a lot and Taco Bell came out with their, with their, quesadilla that has twice the stuff in and so whenever Taco Bell comes out with something new I usually go and try it because I really like Taco Bell and Taco Bell is pretty close to our house and so do you remember that honey? Mm -hmm. what? and so their, 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 their quesadilla isn't called the double stuffed quesadilla it's called the double dia but I didn't I guess I didn't see the commercial I just I just went to Taco Bell and I'm like oh that's new and I read it and I'm like yeah can I get a steak double dilla and then the lady, she didn't say anything, but she's like, okay. And when she went to, to relay the order, she's like, yeah, one steak, double dia. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Cause quesadilla, and it's, it's twice the filling, double dia. Anyways, yeah, I usually say sizzun. And then Americans look at me funny cause they don't, it takes them a while to register what I'm saying. Do you do that with any words, honey? No. No words at all? I don't think. I used to do that with mochi sometimes. What did you 
Mochi. Okay, now do you know how to say it in Japanese? No. How do you say it in Japanese? <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> like it's a it's more of a Japanese thing. Oh. Uh. So it's like saying But like mochi, I say mochi. But like such one's kinda weird. Why did I go why did I start this? Oh, cause cause because rice cakes, mian gao, this. I don't know. Some things I just only know in Chinese and I don't know how to say in English. A lot of vegetables, I don't know what they are in, uh, in English. And I feel like it's because Asians eat more vegetables? I don't know. That's true, you would eat more vegetables. I mean, I don't eat vegetables. I, I, I hate vegetables. I, I like just meat. That's why, that's why my midnight snack is just... It's just the meat. I'm, I'm just going to eat the meat. I don't, I don't want filler, no carbs needed for me. But like, I don't know. They're like we have a lot of Chinese leafy green things that I don't know what they call in English. Yeah? Mm. Eight tai. I don't know what's called in English. Exactly, see, I don't, I don't know what that is. I think just, just people who speak English just don't eat it. <laughs> All the people who speak English. I don't know, cause like when I see when we see them in stores and they have like English written next to them, it's usually just like phonetic, phoneticized. Is that a word? Phoneticized? I don't think so. Jesus it's Christ. usually just Chinese and phonetically spelled out. Chinese words. Rice cake. Yeah. Nah. I also realized I haven't ended any of these again. I think at some point I'll do that, or I don't know. Maybe Stella will create an ending and then like put them into the end of all of these. I don't know if that's if that's less satisfying because it'll really end like Sopranos. It'll just be something happening and then it'll play the ending sequence. Again, Stella hasn't hasn't edited any of these yet. So I think at this point we have almost a month of like us recording intermittently throughout the day. Not a whole bunch. It's still kind of weird to just do something and then I'm like, oh, we should record this and pick up the camera. So I haven't, we haven't really gotten into the swing of that because we usually just do things and it'd be nice if everything was just magically recorded. Seaweed. Dried seaweed. Well, there's like different types. So this is wakame. Mm, I don't know. Wakame. 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 <laughs> so yeah, hopefully. We'll start recording more and we'll get better at this and somewhere down the line we'll be better at editing and all this will come together nicely. Follow us along our journey to growth and whatnot. Comment, like, and subscribe. I need to say that more often. You say it. You do so well to me. I'll just leave it all to you. Gotta, gotta smash the like button. Gotta get those savage comments. Dab, honey. Dab. No.